so when trying to decide my appearance, I, of course, went to Scripture. And Psalm 45, 2, You are the most excellent of men, and your lips have been anointed with grace, since God has blessed you forever. And other translations say you are fair, which, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. You are fairer than men. But <laughs> uh, um, I thought it was funny. People don't think it's funny. As far as my name goes, I tell everybody this. I tell everybody this. I tell everybody this. Follow the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit says, follow me, follow me. If it doesn't, don't. But my purpose and goal is always to teach people to follow the Holy Spirit. And one thing that always frustrated me is people would be like, but Satan will appear like an angel of light, and Satan was beautiful, and this and all that. And I'm just like, well, if you're saying you find me attractive, I can't be insulted by that. But it's important to understand the scripture says his throne will be surrounded by people of every nation and every tongue. And then I'm really not trying to fulfill the unpleasant parts, and I'm not going to, of the Messianic prophecies. I know about the Netzer, I know about that, that's fulfilled. I'm David, the root of Jesse, I, I get all of that. It's not about that, it is about us as a people Loving each other is really, it's not about anything else. When I was younger, people refused to call me my name, and that's understandable. The Holy Spirit through my mama used to kind of chastise me about it, that people should use my full name. But I, it was never really a concern until I got older. And then I just felt, the spirit felt insulted, but I never chastised anybody or yelled at anybody over my name. Jesus Christ is the name above all names. If you know about my other teachings, God didn't want a name. God is a human term. <clears throat> God wants you to know he loves you through his word. That's really um, the truth. But there's so many of my teachings um, teaching everything that I taught, but putting it in a place where you get 100% truth. That's my concern. People write what they write. And I was very interested in um, seeing what people were writing about me, and it wasn't very nice. And <clears throat> the lion and the lamb, I, I can understand that. And then you have um, the fact that everything written about God in this book was walking around, is walking around in a human body. To me, it's understandable that there would be a certain response to that. And history reflects that so what's important is repentance, and there's only one name, 
which no man can come to the Father except through the Son. And no man can come to the Son except drawn by the Father. So we need to understand we go forward. This is our truth. A lot of effort was placed into making sure you have one of these. <clears throat> All right. I love you.